Hello everyone and welcome back to Flights in 2020 where I'm going to use the Halo Pelican to take a look at the freeware Dallas Photogrammetry by Thelixty available on flightsim.to. I'll link that in the video description. It is a fairly hefty scenery but we don't have photogrammetry for Dallas even with the new world update 10 and we do have photo scenery for Fort Worth. It's a partner city in the Dallas Fort Worth metropolitan area uh, but they seem to have neglected Dallas for some reason, so I decided that we would take a look at uh, the Lixty's version of it and see how it looks. And so we have a whole bunch of landmarks there. We'll be flying out of Dallas Love Field, which I believe still services Southwest Airlines. Why that doesn't bring more prominence to the Dallas side of things, I have no idea, because of course a lot of people will fly Dallas uh, Southwest flights with 737s and all that. So we will see. I don't. Um, it doesn't really matter whether we start at a gate or not, does it, with the Pelican? Um, I have decided to go with the red and black uh, livery here, and uh, people did note that we could pump the passengers up to fairly large masses. Uh, in fact, much more than this. Uh, so I guess even though it's only got three passenger slots, it depends on what you call passengers. Um, they could be, you know, thousands of pounds a piece. I, I just, uh, on principle, uh, let, let's go with the maximum load just to see how it handles with, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna insist that I'm not that heavy. I don't care if my co-pilot's in full battle gear or whatever, but um, yeah, so we'll go with that and see how it takes off vertically, of course, and compare that to how it was in my previous attempt with the Halo Pelican. Let's see Dallas with this freeware photogrammetry and hopefully it'll look good. Oh, uh, well, we'll definitely want it in daytime. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, looking good there. Oh, it's uh, it's actually cold and dark. How, how do you do a cold and dark start with this thing anyway? Hmm. Operative and operative and operative. I definitely... Uh, the one thing that you always need to do is turn on the battery. Well, it says Master Battery there. Master Avionics, Master Generator, Master Everything. <laughs> okay, so those three buttons seem to have uh, most of what we need. Um, well, let's find out. Let me throttle up. Starter button. So, the engines are off. It can do this with the engines off? That's interesting. Okay, so I guess over here, we've got engine generators and then the starter buttons. Well, is that a starter sound? Sort of. Okay, well I think I've got it now. I wonder if they have checklists for this thing. They do have checklists, so... If you uh, didn't want to sort of freestyle it, they do have checklists. Well, anyway, let's see if I've got enough things on or whether I've forgotten something still. But it still doesn't like it. Maybe they need to be. I mean, they lit up, but maybe that's not lit up enough, I don't know. Well, let's go through the checklist then. Fuel shutoff valves. Where are you? Oh! Fuel valve open. I wonder how it even makes the engine sound without the fuel valves open, though. It's always interesting to go out of order and see whether they've implemented things right. Strobe on. Engine starters we should have already gotten. Yeah. Let me just make sure I haven't missed the other generators we've got. Alternator we have. That was supposed to be last. Okay. Let's see if it works now. And we're off. There you go. A cold and dark start in the Hello, Hello Pelican. I was not really expecting to do that, but... Hello, Tower. Well, Love Field could be a place. Um, 
Is it custom? No, it's generic. Could be a place that they might want to touch up. But, you know, we've had two world updates associated with the United States already, so I don't know if they're gonna do anything more in the near term. Okay, let's switch to flight mode. So, there should be... we should... But we should really hover through this, though. But actually, it's very well controlled at low altitude. The buildings have a little bit of a bluish tint, but... That's clearly a custom one. Ooh, it's got little uh, Red Cross pads, so that's for... Th there should be... I, I wonder if there's a uh, livery for this where it uh, is like a rescue, emergency rescue livery. Somebody should make one of those. And then you could land on the hospital buildings. I don't think these are landable though. But it'd be an interesting thing. So yeah, we got some photogrammetry here. Uh... <laughs> There's a structure over there. I guess that yeah, that's that's the suspension on the bridge. Oh, eccentric. Oh, we're going down. It is still possible to put this out of kilter. That, that's interesting stuff on that bridge. It doesn't look quite right, but it's it's good. It's better than nothing. Photogrammetry is still photogrammetry, so there are limitations here. These buildings look good. Okay, so this is in full flight mode, though. Let's really see how close in we can get with the hover mode, perhaps. Let me just take one more look around. It's all looking pr pretty good right now. Ah, uh, uh, th this building over here to our left has sort of a missing roof there. Or the roof uh, normals are reversed. Belly flop. This is not very maneuverable like this. Oh, we, we have G-Force huffing and puffing, huh? But it's smooth. It's very smooth. Okay. Let's try Dallas. Felixty's Dallas with uh, hover mode. Of course we were overspeed. How could I not do overspeed? Okay. Down, down, down. We should be able to do some amount of forward movement but how much how fast can we go can we go highway speeds that would be ideal oh yeah yeah we can easily go a hundred knots let's see so in hover mode the maximum forward speed seems to be like 130 knots which is basically what i would want anyway this is really probably the best thing to use if you don't want to challenge when touring a city. wonder if we can get through some of these gaps. Of course, it really expects a lot out of the photogrammetry to go like this. Is an iPhone 10 everywhere in Dallas? <laughs> okay. Obviously, if the photogrammetry was implemented by a Sobo that would be better. Floating car. Um, 
Bet they have decided to neglect Dallas for some reason. Fort Worth, yes. Dallas, no. Let's see from the inside of the cockpit. It's a little bit daunting though. You can't really get a good grasp on whether you have clearance like this. Uh, that's one bad side to... Oh, we're just holding steady right now. One bad side to the design of this is that sin considering its capabilities, they don't have any downward facing windows like a helicopter would. Right? I mean, of course, the Harrier doesn't and the F-35 doesn't either. But I guess they're relying on cam vision for that, maybe? I don't know what cam vision is actually showing me right now. Um... Uh, that might be a view that I need. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't really want to go up more. Now the trick is, if I go full throttle, that just increases our vertical speed. So, we don't want that. The throttle really does- the uh, throttle is really up and down right now. This is not exactly how helicopters work. Somebody commented about helicopters. Yeah, this is not at all how helicopters work. <laughs> I just have to point out. Um, helicopters are different. Helicopters are very different. I had recorded myself flying the Huey in DCS world. I should post that at some point. I did that during a live stream. There was a big cliff there. Uh, yeah. It is, it is not fair to this photogrammetry to take a look at at this level. <laughs> this is going too far. Some of the buildings look good though. It really depends on how the source handled them. And we could just uh, park right here and act like an elevator. But yeah, I don't think any of these buildings are landable, otherwise I would try. But it, it would be easy anyway. One challenge, I thought about them making a challenge for the Halo Pelican. And one challenge I would like is like a stadium tour. And basically what it is is going from one stadium to another, landing inside the stadiums, and you get accuracy based on uh, points. Of course you're going to get points, it's like a regular challenge. Uh, the points are based on how fast you can get from uh, through all the stadiums, like it'll be a chain of like eight stadiums or something, and how close to the center you actually landed. And that would be an interesting challenge, and people could get scores like that, I think. Uh, let, let's see about just going straight up. I, 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 I tried going high under normal circumstances, you know, in regular flight. But how about in hover mode? Just elevatoring up, how high do we get? So I'm just going to elevator up from Dallas here. You can very clearly see the boundaries of the photogrammetry added by the freeware scenery by Felixi here. Felixi has a lot of experience with the photogrammetry. Many freeware packages on flightsim.to now very high over Dallas our vertical speed is a constant uh, 12,450 feet per minute and we are still going up I think we should go with the ground height there so 27,000 and climbing we're miscalibrated as far as the main altitude indicator and I'll have to figure out where exactly that, that adjustment is. Okay, okay, it levels out forcibly at 29,000, basically 30,000 feet. So if you go straight up, it'll get you to 30,000 feet. Okay, so that's that question answered.
So, let us see what happens if right now I, uh, if I drop the throttle completely and go out of flight mode. Ah, let's just go full thrust. <laughs> okay. It did sort of, sort of stall right there a little bit. Okay. So, going down efficiently is a problem for this because it has the overspeed thing. So, let me just throttle down completely, but I don't think it can go down very quickly. See, we're gonna hit overspeed there. So, I'm gonna end this by seeing how fast the actual black screen overspeed is. Here we've hit sort of a limit. Ah. Uh, about 470, but of course it might be the amount of time it takes at that particular altitude, so, uh, at that particular speed, I mean. So, uh, there's some room above 460 where it starts to give the overspeed warning, but, yeah, there is a hard limit. I was sort of hoping that they give an overspeed warning, but then it doesn't actually kill you, right? There's this possibility of that, in which case you can do a very severe dive into a city. I mean, it is a dropship after all, right? So that would be interesting if it was capable of doing that, but it looks like it is hard limited. I think to some extent it's because they wanted to make sure, I, I know it's an SSTO and everything, uh, but they wanted to make sure the Dark Star still had a sort of special status. After all, if it could do everything that the Dark Star can, go really fast and really high up and still be able to hover, then the Dark Star is sort of useless in a way, so it's not as special anymore. So I guess it's okay. It should have a special role. They should all have special roles. Anyway, so that was the Pelican over Dallas, and if you're interested in that scenery, I'll link it in the video description. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.